Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. You are a part of Hashem. In Tanya, we learn, we are chelak elokam imal mamash. That our soul, our neshama, nefesh elokis, is a part of God. So it's not that we were just created by God, but rather we are a part of Him. And even when we come down into this world and things seem to us as if we, we're in the situation where we seem as if we're separate from God. In a, from Hashem's perspective, nothing has changed. Hashem is beyond time. He's beyond infinite. And we are still totally united with Him. Therefore, we have to act upon this. And how do we do that? Through Torah and mitzvahs. Through fulfilling the Torah and mitzvahs, we are able to then become one with Hashem in a revealed way. The Torah teaches us and reminds us that there's nothing else but Hashem. And through our actions, through our actions in this world, we, we prepare the world, we bring it to a state where it will be able to handle the revelation of Hashem's beyond infinite revelation, uh, of Hashem's infinite light. What does that mean? That as you know, if you've ever learned the story of Mount Sinai, that when Hashem spoke to the Jews at Mount Sinai, it was too much for them to handle and their souls left their body and they died and Hashem had to put them back into the body because they couldn't handle the godly revelation. So what's changing now? After that, Hashem gave us the Torah. The Torah, what does the Torah do? The Torah makes it so that we can make ourselves a vessel to handle the godly revelation so that when Hashem reveals Himself completely and totally to us, when Mashiach comes, may it be today, not only will we not be overwhelmed by it to the point where we'll die, but we'll be able to enjoy it and derive in un unimaginable pleasure from it and we'll be able to remain alive in our bodies with this godly revelation because there'll be no contradiction. So normally a person sees physicality and spirituality and thinks there's a contradiction there. But the Torah teaches us, no, there's no contradiction. The whole point of the physicality is to use it for spirituality. And that's possible in a world where we have free will, where at first glance, sometimes we have the desire to do the opposite of what Hashem wants. But through toiling in Torah, through learning Hasidus, through making ourselves excited to serve the Creator and realizing what is on the line here, what is this mission that Hashem is giving us, how great, when we think about the magnitude of this mission that Hashem has put us on, it makes it much easier to fulfill Hashem's will. And the Torah then fuses heaven and earth. Torah is the intermediate between infinite and finite. So then through us following the Torah, through us fulfilling Hashem's will, we'll be able to, to derive pleasure from the revelation of God's infinite light. And we will not be nullified by it. We won't die when we see this revelation. But since we fulfill the Torah, we'll be a, a vessel that's capable of handling this godly revelation. And the Rebbe speaks about this, that on Mount Sinai, it was a revelation of above, from above only. Hashem revealed Himself to the Jewish people. The Jewish people didn't elevate themselves to God. They didn't make them. They didn't. They didn't push themselves. They didn't earn that revelation. But rather, Hashem revealed it to them from His, from Him, from His, his own sake, for, like from from above. And this was too much for them to handle. But in the times of Mashiach, there will be both a revelation from above, from God, and a revelation from below, meaning we will also elevate ourselves up to Hashem. It won't just be Hashem revealing Himself to us, but we'll do our part also to elevate ourselves. Therefore, we'll be able to handle this godly revelation. And when we're, and we're, when we're able to do that, that we'll, then we'll get to experience the greatest pleasure of all. That is true. Before we were born, our neshamas had a tremendous godly revelation. But Hashem says... That's not enough. I'm going to give you an even greater opportunity. And that's when we come down into this physical world, into this physical coarse world, where at first glance it doesn't seem like there's a godly revelation. But it's in this specific place with free will that Hashem is most interested in. Most interested in. And is it in this world that Hashem wants a home, that He wants to be His Gan Eden, His garden, His dwelling place. So when we fulfill God's will in this physical world, we turn this physical place into a spiritual place. What seemingly is the most, the furthest place from God of all is actually the place where He wants to reveal Himself completely and totally, which will be an even will be an incomparably, incomparably greater godly revelation that, than that of which is in the higher realms right now. Because in the higher realms, it's only a little a, a contracted revelation of God's light. It's a it's a it's called a hera, an array of God's light. A, yeah, a ray. A, a, yeah, it's only a radiation, a, a ray of God's light, a slim 
meaning Hashem only reveals a little bit of Himself to these higher realms. They feel an incredible pleasure. But He's not revealing His essence, His etzem. He's not revealing Himself totally. His inner part of Him. And that's what He wants to reveal in this world. And that can only be done in a physical world where we have free will and we earn it. So when we do that, then we get the, the merit to see Hashem reveal Himself to all of us. And this is when Hashem said to Moshe Rabbeinu, I'll show you my behind, but not my face. Meaning that was this inner godly revelation of Hashem's inner pleasure that he experiences. That he wants to, the inner pleasure that Hashem experiences is in his own presence, so to speak. In himself. This presence Hashem experiences to himself. That's the, the revelation that Moses wasn't yet ready to be, that wasn't, he wasn't capable of, 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 of being revealed to him. That Hashem didn't reveal to Moshe this, this face. He said to Moshe, I will not reveal my face to you. But this will be revealed when Mashiach comes. This inner pleasure that Hashem experiences, so to speak, that, we, that he wants to reveal to us. And this is where our soul comes from. So God willing, may it be today that we, that we, that we experience this. God bless you all.